So especially in current times, it's very important to have a contingency plan in place. Um, we say especially if someone in the, on the, in the household or on the farm gets sick and um, can't perform the day-to-day -day duties. And I suppose one of the most important ones and complex ones is the actual milking and setting up the plants and all that's involved in that. Um, so I suppose you have all the plants and they're all different, they're all different control systems and equipment can be in different rooms and things like that. So if a neighbour came in or a leaf milker came in and they might never milk in a machine like this and it might be all neutral. So what's um, very practical to have on a farm is a standard operating procedures guideline. So it's just um, quick instructions on how to set up the plant, set up the machine. And what's very good about this one is not only does it have the instructions late number one to whatever, it also has the pictures matching each instruction. So you can clearly see what has to be done as well as the, the written instructions. Um, it also has the room it's in, so there's dairy, plant room, or in the pit, uh, which makes the um, following instructions um, very easy. Uh, so it's also very useful to have around the parlour um, is we say guidelines like your tank instructions to make sure the tank is always turned on. The worst thing you can do is have the milk in the tank and the tank not to be cooling. Also uh, to have your washing instructions uh, so you know what wash is to be done after every milking and the correct dosage is required for each wash. Um, something that's also should be made available to anyone that's coming in milking is um, crucial mobile numbers. Um, for say a technician of the machine or tank or anyone that's involved in the day-to-day -day the farm. A lot of these can actually be found on one of the first pages of the uh, Glambia Milk Calendar. Um, what you see now in a lot of farms as well is um, whiteboards that will be at the top of the dairy. Uh, this is very important for marking such things as cows that have been treated with antibiotics and their milk needs to be um, discarded. Um, either through dump line or manually done in the pit. Um, this should be always be up to date and what also should be clear, very clear beside this is how the cows are marked, whether it's red for antibiotic or orange for a um, cow that has a blind water. Chagas also on their website has um, a number of these um, standard operating procedure guidelines and um, they're available to be downloaded and um, I'd encourage you all to do so and then alter it so it's specific to your farm and your plant. Um, so that anyone can easily come in and um, work on your machine and make the cows.